Hey guys, it's Marty Blends back with another cinematic tutorial and today we've got a step by step on how to do a beautiful low fade so let's jump straight into it. You want to start off by prepping your canvas and moistening up the hair. Comb all the hair down into its natural form. Now you want to section the top portion from the bottom half within the parietal ridge and clip away using hair clips. Next, using your clipper and the number 3 guard with the lever open, start debulking. Remember, you want to flare away when approaching the parietal ridge area. Don't worry if it looks too bulky because now with your fade comb, take any harsh lines out using clipper or comb and remove any dangling hair that may get in the way through the blending process. Alright, now you want to create a baseline using your trimmer of choice. Remove all the stubble left underneath it using the opposite side of the trimmer. And be sure to lay the blade flat on the scalp to avoid any nicks or unnecessary scrapes. Since the idea behind this cut was a V-shaped low drop fade, we want to give the rear a sharp V-shape. To achieve a cleaner look, just shave off the stubble using a shaver, but don't apply too much pressure when reaching the baseline you just created. Okay, coming with our clipper, no guard, and the lever open, create a half inch guy line above the initial baseline. If you prefer a longer blend, just increase the size of each guy line. Next, with your 1.5 open, go up above 1 inch from the last step. Pay attention to how we keep flicking out a tad to not create new harsh lines. Grab your number 2 now, lever open, and remove half an inch above the step prior. If you can tell, the scheme is basically a ladder of numbers just reaching the first number we used to debulk. One thing I do want to point out is consistently combing down really just helps tremendously. Now you want to close up the lever fully and hit that baseline halfway through the guideline. Be extremely patient when doing so. As you gradually move up on this guideline, start opening up the lever and using more corners until we reach the full lever open. With your half guard fully open, now create a half inch guideline all around. Using your one open, scoot up another half an inch, breaking the line within the dark and light area. It is important to use plenty of corners since you are closer to the darker area of our blend. I do come back with my one and a half and play around with the levers and corners because, again, it is necessary. Finally, without a guard and the lever open, use any corners to knock out the last visible line you're able to see. More often than not, just using your corners in general is always going to create a better fade and a better blend. Teasing your blade into every dark portion of the lower part of the blend will also help dramatically. Hey. 
As you can see, I do come back to any other guards if necessary. The touch-up work really makes up for the entire blend. I do suggest you do each step all around the head as you go, but remember for demonstration purposes only, I work on one side, then the other. Guys, if by any chance you like these translucent guards I use in every video, check out martyblends.com to pick up your own. There is plenty of colors to choose from, so go pick your favorite. Now that we're done with the blending portion of the cut, we move to the lineup. Spray down with hairspray, let dry, and begin lining using your corners. In this case, since we are going for a lengthier top, there's no reason for a full hair lineup, so all we gotta do is ace the C cups. Finally, just use a razor to make it look crispy. Next, we work on the top portion. Wet the hair so it's damp and begin by sectioning from the top part of the crown down to the parietal ridge. As we bring it down, just shear over comb and cut any uneven parts that are excessively long. You want to do this for both sides. As we're cutting the top, be sure to have everything as equal as possible to each side, but don't forget to bring down the hair to check how it's actually looking. Finally, we texturize, so bring up the top portion and point cut the sections you already cut. You also want to slither through, but make sure you put the hair down forward before you do so. Use blending shears to blend any harsh line that's left within the bulky areas, but we should have a pretty good haircut now. Apply product and work your way through just really being creative with how you want the strands of hair to flow. Use hairspray to top it all off and there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back with more. I'm Marty Blends and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>